I was brought up to believe that the Bible was the greatest piece of fiction ever written. That's what my father believed and because my mother married out of the church, it was never, a religion was just never discussed in our household. And so all through my life I went to different churches, went in and out with different friends, never really knew what to believe, always very mixed up and confused. Um, I would talk to God, but I never really knew God. I never knew what to believe in. Sharon Kaler <laughs> invited me to come to church here. I just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and finally I'd say, okay, I'll go. And for some reason, at the time, it just was good for me. And the more I came, the more I wanted to learn and I wanted to know ask the questions and I didn't feel bad about asking questions before I never knew so you know I didn't know what questions to ask <laughs> but now I've learned an awful lot and it was Sharon got me my first Bible and it was a teaching Bible and um, so the little footnotes really helped. It put things in perspective if they didn't understand it. And that's why belonging and going to the God Story Project now has really opened my eyes and it's brought real life to the church and to God and to Jesus. And that's filled me up. It makes me feel like I'm a part of the God's community. God's out there, and I know he's out there now. I think that God probably always knew me, but now I have found him, and I think that's what he's been waiting for. It brings me comfort. It brings me hope that Jesus will forgive all of my sins and, and I can talk to him. And I think that since coming to church here, everyone has made him real to me. And I feel that if he has died on the cross for me, then I owe him as much as I can give.